buy this at home unless you're confident in what you're doing. Oh my god, you've done it. Yeah. What, right, I need to get it back in. Yeah. Come on, sweetie. Oh, well done, babe. Right, hopefully. Hello and welcome back to the channel. So thank you very much for everybody joining me today. Gav here from Gav's Tarantulas and Lucy's on the camera today. Hello. But what we're doing is I just thought I'd quickly show you this one because we're doing a bit of an update. Uh, we're actually in the process of moving house so we'll be moving in a Yay. week. Get a good big setup which you'll see in the future and we're going to have a proper room all done so you get to see that. But there's one thing I'm worried about and you've seen on previous videos the giant white meat, a Cantuscuria geniculata. This one was Harry, but now is a female. So one fang Harry or Harriet, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but it's nearly coming up to that yearly time where they do their molt. And abdomen's slowly shrinking on this one because I'm not overfeeding, because I'm worried that when she goes into the next molt, she's going to get stuck again. Mm. And I don't want her getting stuck. So if you come closer, you can have a look at her fang. Can you see it? You can see how it's um, really gone all dried and mouldy. So she's moving around absolutely fine. All her limbs have grown back, both her pedipalps, but the pedipalp here is pushed down, but still works, but it's just purely because of this fang. So her abdomen was huge. It was out here. So I've reduced it just so I think she can molt a bit easier. But I am thinking that she's definitely gonna get some problem here. And I have no idea how I'm gonna get her off this and basically get that off with the malt, I don't know, but I need to check on her at least every day before going into malt, just so I can keep an eye on her, because I don't want to miss a day, and then she doesn't um, come out of it, because I want to be able to pick her up and do the surgery. Let's see if she'll still eat again today. I'm gonna put a cricket in. I don't need to, like, hand it to her. I can just literally drop it down, because she's good at taking, but these are quite fast, as you know, and she can still get it, so here we go. And you watch how she does it, look, picks it up with the dirt on her feet. But also what I've noticed is the last time I showed you, her fang was there, so it's actually come off. So her fang has actually dropped away. So she's just left. I can't actually see, she's got the one fang, but it looks like, I don't know, because I wanna get that off. She can still move it. Look, she lets me touch her because she's so used mm. to me doing it. She's saying, go away, I got my breakfast. Yeah. She's so lovely. Yeah. Oh God, she is so like, she will eat anything she will. But that's my main concern is catching her when she goes into malt, just so I can save her around here. You can, oh, the wind. You can see that she's moving perfectly fine with all her limbs. Um, she's still very food responsive. Oh, she's not just chilling now. But I could easily handle this one. Because yeah. she's just so used to me, but I just don't know how to get that off. I don't know. I was thinking about cutting it myself now, but then I didn't want to like cause her a bleed or something like that. So I'm just going to wait and see what happens for the malt. But as you can see, one fang Harry is still doing well, minus the reduced abdomen size just for safety. But I thought I'd give you a quick update just because I've had a few people comment and they're curious about her because they've seen all the trouble she's had for the past couple of years. But as you can see, she's doing well. I'll see if she can take one more cricket because I've got one left. Just, to, beauty, aren't just gonna offer her this one slowly, see if she can take it. Oh, no, she didn't mm -hmm. like that. I've got enough, thank you. I can only take one, no, I've already she's got one had thing. Enough. <laughs> But there you go. So if any of you do have a spider like this that has a problem with one of the fangs, you know that they can actually heal. Uh, it's dried off like this and it's took some months to dry off like this. But I think that when she goes into molt, this here will fall off. If not, I'm gonna have to do some sort of surgery, remove it and make sure she's okay. But she trusts me as you've seen previously and I held her and did the surgery. So hopefully we can get this all sorted for the next molt in the next few months. So we'll keep you posted on that one. Thanks so much for watching. She's so pretty.